Hello, I'm makeup artist Kerry Lou with another makeup tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you a look using some of my favorite colors. We have plums, violets, pinks. They're all such flattering colors, especially if you have silver or gray hair like I do. Come on, let's go. The foundation I'm using today is Urban Decay's Naked. The color is 2.5, which matches my skin color perfectly. It has a lightweight texture, which is great for mature skin types, as well as for those who simply want a natural looking foundation. I'm starting with the areas that need the most coverage and blending a minimum amount over the rest of my face. Don't forget to get under your jawline too. I'm using brush number 106 from my signature line of makeup brushes. It's made of Taclon, which is a man-made bristle. This kind of fiber is great for applying liquid foundation because it's not absorbent like a natural bristle brush. Next, I'm using a little Bobbi Brown concealer. I'm using brush number 109, which is a great concealer brush. It's nice and flat and smooth, so your concealer goes on smoother. It's great for getting into the smaller areas around the eye. I also like to pat the concealer on using my ring finger. That makes quite a difference, doesn't it? Here's a staple from my kit that I cannot do without, Ben Nye Translucent White Powder. I'll use it to set the concealer and to protect this area from any fallout from eyeshadow that I'll be applying. This is a Natural Bristle Powder Brush number 101. Mm, it feels fantastic. It's such a great brush and it will last you a lifetime if you look after it. If you see a little blemish as you go along, there are all kinds of touch-up sticks you can use. You can use them at any time you're doing your makeup, as long as you have a good match for your skin color. I'm going to warm up my face a bit using the Smashbox Contour Palette. This other shade is more for contouring, but I don't like to contour too much. I think it can be aging. I'm just going to shade down my nose a bit using brush number 102. This just adds a little dimension without over contouring. Next, let's give my cheeks a useful glow with Bobbi Brown's Powder Blush. This color is apricot. I'm a big fan of MAC's Paint Pots. You can use them as an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow base. I'm using brush number 107. It's a natural hair brush and I'm using one side of it you'll see because I want to keep the other side clean for another color. I like to keep this fan handy for drying makeup when needed. Also, I feel like such a diva using it. I'm going to be using this palette by Tarte. It features plums, violets, nice soft colors. We're using this strip of colors here. They go really well together. If you're not very good at blending, you'll love this brush. It's number 111. It's so big and fluffy. Great for fixing mistakes. Now I'm going with a darker shade in the crease. I have to fake a contour because I have hooded eyes. I'm using brush number 113. Think of this action like a windshield wiper. If you're not comfortable going any darker than this, you can stop here. I'm going to go for a darker shade. If you put a tissue under your lower lashes, you'll keep everything clean. I'm going to sweep a little highlighter under the brow. This color is called Super Mom. I wonder why they called it that. Now for some lower liner, I'm using an angled brush, number 118. This is a mid-tone plum called Best Friend. Instead of a liquid or a gel liner, I'm going with a soft eyeshadow. This color is called Fashionista. Give the eyelashes a curl. I like to curl them in different places so you don't get a weird L shape from the side view. This is L'Oreal's Voluminous in Carbon Black.
So to groom my eyebrows, cover the greys and shape them a bit, I'm using Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. It's waterproof. I'm using brush number 116. It has three different heads. See the difference? And now for some lips. This lip liner is from Yves Saint Laurent. Make sure it's nice and sharp. Use the point to establish the shape of the lips. I like to go slightly over the lip line. I use the side of the pencil to fill in a bit. I'm softening the liner with my retractable lip brush. I've been getting into the matte lip colors lately. I found this one is not as drying to the lips like some mattes are. I think I could do with a little bit of highlighter on my cheekbones. This is from Becca, it's called Opal, and just a tad under my brow bone. So we could finish right here, or we could do some strip lashes. If you're trying lashes for the first time, try when you don't have anywhere to rush off to, and give yourself plenty of time. These ones are very light and natural, they're from Ardell. Very gently peel them from the pack. It's easier if you cut off about one third from the outside edge. You can always use the piece you cut off another time. It helps if you roll them between your fingers a little bit to make them more supple. This makes them more comfortable to wear. Pick them up with a tweezer and dip the strip into the glue. You want the glue to be mostly on the back of the strip so that it doesn't show once they're on. I'm using my trusty fan to make them dry quicker. So they should be sitting right on top of your own lashes. Perfect. I think they make a huge difference, don't you? If you enjoyed that as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.